Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Zerakon and I am back once again. Today, I'm going to make a video in response to Tech Deals, who I believe made a very incorrect statement on Twitter. Now in case you didn't know, Tech Deals is a YouTube tech channel. I haven't really watched their stuff, I've only recently heard of them. But Tech Deals made a tweet that stood out as a contradiction to the purpose of PC gaming. The tweet itself is part of this thread. Now the original tweet has been deleted, but based on these responses, it looks like it was about the Steam Deck. Lauren here and Tech Deals have an exchange back and forth, and let's get on with the thread. Some people play The Witcher 3 on the Switch. The Switch is very popular. Now imagine a cheaper to own slash run console which will render the game in significantly higher quality. Why wouldn't that sell like crazy? The user interface and text on screen on the Switch are designed for that screen. The PC version isn't designed for a 7 inch 800p screen. The PC version also assumes you have a keyboard and mouse. I'm going to pause here for a moment. Without the original tweet, there's quite a bit of context loss here, so I don't know if The Witcher 3 was a part of the conversation, or just the Steam Deck in general. Either way, The Witcher 3 has full controller support on Steam, so I don't know what they're referring to with the PC version. But let's continue. I can assure you with over a decade's experience of playing a lot of PC games with a controller, the vast amount of PC games work great with and were designed for controller use. Some categories of PC games, strategy, and city builders, for example, need a keyboard and mouse, though. Works great with and controller don't belong in the same sentence when it comes to actual PC games. Console ports are hardly PC-focused games, but fair enough. Also, I would remind you that I've been playing PC games since before you were born, so there's that. Smiley face. This isn't the tweet I was referring to, but there are a few red flags here in this tweet. First off, who is Tech Deals to say that an actual PC game doesn't use a controller? If he isn't referring to PC versions or ports of multiplayer games, I can reference Gunfire Reborn, a PC-only dungeon-crawling FPS. The game uses mouse and keyboard controls, obviously, but you can use a controller too. Heck, Half-Life 2 was originally a PC-only game, but you can use a controller on it. Does that make it a bad PC game, Tech Deals? I've got more to say, but I want to save it for later. All those extra years, and you somehow missed the point of PC gaming. Consoles are for fixed-use cases. PC is more open and flexible. You hit the nail on the head, Lauren. There is nothing open or flexible about Steam Deck. Apart from downloading any OS onto it, apart from playing emulated games on it, apart from being able to play Steam, GOG, and dare I say, EGS games on it, seems like you're ignoring a lot of the available options. Also, my point about age was in response to your assurance, smiley face. Console ports didn't used to be the norm. They have dumbed down PC gaming and were all the worse off for it. There are more red flags with that last part. It became clear that you have little to no experience playing PC games with a controller, whereas I've been doing it for a very long time. It wasn't meant as a flex. I was just quantifying my experience on the topic. Keyboard and mouse is better, but that's not the point. Eh, I'd say that's a case-by-case -case argument. It dawns me that there are now a lot of PC gamers who really aren't. If you can play all your games with a controller, you're a console gamer and don't know it. That's why I never finished Fallout 4. It's just a console game. Fallout 1 and 2 were epic. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the tweet that prompted me to make this video. How in the world can playing a game with a, con with a controller make someone a console gamer? This is an insane level of gatekeeping. And while I believe gatekeeping is good in certain scenarios, this isn't one of them. PC gaming is about having options. Play how you want. It's one of the draws that pulled me into PC gaming. I can change my game settings to however I please. I can use whatever input I want. I can use mods. I can play my games online without a stupid subscription. I can play and choose and upgrade my hardware as I want. It's great. Not perfect, but great. I also think that there are worse things ruining gaming than a controller like microtransactions, intentionally cut content being made in the form of paid DLC, de nuvo uninspired annual sports games that get sold at a premium price. But yes, c controllers are the root of all evil. And to argue against tech deals, if someone really wanted to, they could force a game to use a controller. There are games in my Steam library that do not natively support controller, like The Witcher, Fear, and Wargame Red Dragon. If I wanted to, I could go into my controller settings and bind whatever controls I wanted to each button. In that sense, every game can be played with a controller. The results might not be stellar, but the point is that it can be done. And uh, that also means that it can be done in your library too. Congrats, you're now a console gamer. 
Gatekeeping PC gaming is not a good look. What I said is a true statement. Not liking it doesn't change that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some citation there. Maybe a couple peer-reviewed studies you could throw my way. Physically using a PC doesn't make you a PC gamer. Example, playing a Genesis game on a PC. I'm going to partially agree with tech deals here. In a rare case that someone is not using a PC as a platform of choice, and really only uses it to emulate old games, the argument of someone being a PC gamer is valid. For example, I have a console gaming buddy who only plays on PC to play old games that he doesn't want to go and pay large amounts of money for them on the secondhand market. Neither he nor I consider him to be a PC gamer. However, if someone just prefers to play on PC and use a controller, that does not make them any less a PC gamer than the person who uses only mouse and keyboard. They both love the platform equally. They love the benefits that the platform offers. And by Tech Deal's logic, someone who plays on a console but only plays games that support mouse and keyboard aren't console gamers, but PC gamers. What the heck? Playing a game on PC makes you a PC gamer. Emulation is one of the benefits of being a PC gamer, for example. On that, we'll have to disagree. It's very strange to me that anyone could think that if someone slides their keyboard and mouse back and picks up a controller, VR headset, wheel, HOTAS, or literally any other control input, then they've suddenly stopped PC gaming. Keyboard and mouse gaming and PC gaming aren't necessarily the same thing. You don't understand my point, but that's okay. Your replies indicate the gulf of experiences and viewpoint make this an impossible conversation. Or you're trolling. Hard to tell with text. Smiley face. I think barely anyone understands your point. You were ratioed in practically every reply. You're really coming off as a PC fanboy, and this actually makes you the first that I've ever encountered. And no, Intel, AMD, NVIDIA fanboys don't count. But Lauren was right when she said that you really don't understand the point of PC gaming. It's the freedom to do what you want on both a hardware level and a software level, but you can't see that. With that being said though, that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and a special thanks to everyone who came to my live stream yesterday. I have another video in the works, but that probably won't be out until Monday, and I am also contemplating streaming either today, or later this evening, or tomorrow, so we'll see. Stay tuned for that, you know, I've got my Twitch in the uh, description below. So until next time everyone, I am Zericon signing off, have a good one.